Welcome back to the porch. So today is Saturday, um, April 29th, I believe. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to get situated. Pillows galore out here on the porch. And I know this series is like on the porch with Joey, but this is not my porch. <laughs> this is Laura's porch. She's an excellent designer and she's done well. A lot of pillows to navigate and if she would ever see this video and didn't see some pillows in it, she'd be like, where are the pillows? <laughs> but um, Anyway, probably just got in trouble for that, but I will keep going. I will not stop and rewind or stop it and start it again. Um, so it is... Um, like 3:25 Saturday afternoon again April 29th and uh, beautiful day again flags in the going in the breeze and watching the oak trees and uh, got got the neighbors playing some basketball and got some other neighbors over there doing their lawn I hear some other people doing their lawn out today so it's a beautiful day and a little cloudy right now. I think we got some rain coming in tonight. Um, but and I love hearing the birds and stuff. So I hope the microphone. I I went back and and obviously watched the other two videos I did and I I heard the microphone picked up some of that stuff, especially the church bells, really good things like that. So anyway, so um, Laura asked me if I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby with her <laughs> and I was like no and and I typically do things with her you know we love doing stuff together and you know we're actually starting a a, a, a channel and a Facebook page it's called Joey and Laura so look that up if you want to so um, all that stuff's gonna come soon but she asked me she's like do you want to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like no and I kind of look at her and I'm like you're working on a project aren't you and she's like yeah and I'm like no I definitely don't want to go and, and it's not because I don't want to be with her I don't want her to have to put up with me you know when she's in that mode right I'm sure a lot of y'all can understand that so like e even when I'm working on something and I've I, you know I don't want to have to worry about somebody else and sometimes in Hobby Lobby and other places like that if I get around a bunch of people and they start to annoy me, it's like, I just want to get out. And she's, you know, so like there's been countless times where she's been like, no, I got to, you know, go sit in the car. And like, what fun is that? Right. So anyway, I just was like, no, you're in, you're in either design mode today. So just go to Hobby Lobby and I'll see you later tonight. So uh, who knows? She might not be back till eight or nine. I think they close at seven, maybe eight. So anyway. So she's off doing that, and I had to finish up some stuff this morning anyway for a client and send off some emails, and she and I have been working on some logo stuff this week for a client, and we had to finish that up. I had to get that off to him. So anyway, just a bunch of stuff going on, but I, I finally got to a point where I could kind of relax a little bit and wanted to come out here, enjoy the weather, and uh, shoot another little video. And I kind of thought about what... I wanted to talk about today um, because I saw this a couple of days ago again and it upsets me every single time and here's what it's about it's about business owners bashing other business owners you know on Facebook or you know they might not think it's bashing but posting negative comments and saying how terrible of a time they had at their establishment or most of its restaurant related I've only seen a few of like, hey, I went to this store and was trying to buy something and they were rude and blah, blah, blah. But in, in any event, still shouldn't do it. So um, for many reasons, but the number one reason is, you know, you don't want people doing that on your Facebook about, you know, about you. So why are you doing it about someone else? That just doesn't make sense to me. But we, we certainly know everybody, use, not everybody, but most of the people use Facebook to kind of get their aggressions out. It's a therapy session. It's just, 
hey, I want to spread the word so all my friends and family and stuff know not to visit that establishment. But let me give you an example of how I think you should handle it, and it would be better for you. And you probably would even get something out of it and and kind of make a connection, right? So let's just suppose you go to a restaurant and you had a very bad meal and the server wasn't very attentive, so you had bad service, right? So you had bad food, you had bad service. And you want to come home and you can't wait to get home to get your phone out or get on the computer and type all your frustrations out on Facebook. Okay, here's my suggestion. You go ahead and finish your meal. You pay for it. Go ahead and leave a tip anyway, even if the server was having a rotten day. You never know what somebody is going through, okay? So still leave a tip. So you've paid your bill, you leave your tip. As you leave, when you get up front, uh, ask to speak to the manager. Now look, understand that the manager's still on their job. They're still putting up with everything. They're trying to get their staff done. They're, they're dealing with other irate customers, hopefully not, but you know, dealing with all their stuff. So they're not gonna maybe be in the best mood to kind of talk to you about things. So if you're a business owner, you probably already got your business cards with you. So ask to speak to the manager and just say, hey, introduce yourself. My name is so-and-so. I happen to be a fellow business owner you know, in the area, and it doesn't matter what you do. It's just like, I, I happen to run a business, so I know what it's like. I thought I would just let you know that I, I didn't like the meal tonight. The service wasn't great either, but I know you're not probably in the mood right now to talk about it, or you're really busy and I don't want to bother you, you know, whatever your words are. And you say, I, I know I don't want to bother you, um, so I just want to leave you my name and my card, and it's got my email address on it. Um, you know, so if you want to email me later, you know, if you want the details, you know, I'll be glad to give you the details about it and just say, you know, have a good evening and leave. OK, that manager, if if they're a good manager. Later that night, they'll be like, wow, those people handle that really well. And yes, I'm going to follow up with them. I am going to send them an email. I want to know what they ate. I want to know what their experience was. I want to know every, every bad thing that they went through, right? So now, now you're going to communicate with them by email, right? And so you're going to be connected that way in a different way, okay? And now, if that manager is a really good manager, they are going to invite you back probably free of charge and say i am so sorry yes we were having a bad night yes whatever whatever the excuse might be yes i'm sorry i talked with our server they were going through this or they were going through that they were having a bad evening too please come back let us serve you again to show you what kind of restaurant or, or what we really do right that'll work a lot better okay then, believe it or not, especially in a small town like Conway, if you were at a Conway restaurant, word's going to go around of how well that you handled that. Instead of coming on Facebook or instead of yelling and screaming at the restaurant or, or whatever it is, I think that'll work better for you. And look, if you're not a business owner, you know, or, or you don't want to worry about your business or anything like that, if you don't have any cards with you, when you pay for your meal and leave a tip and you get ready to leave, when you're going to ask for the manager, write your name on a napkin and your email address and say the same thing. Hey, I had we, we had a terrible experience, you know, but I know you're busy and I, I don't want to bother you now, but here's my name and my email address. If you want to email me, we can communicate and I'll tell you about it. Um... And that'll work to your favor, too, because I'm going to tell you nine, or ten, nine out of ten times, look, we all have bad days. Something probably just happened. And then they're going to invite you back for a free meal to really make it, make it special, right? So, all right. So just.